Hello people we are going to learn serial killers with the highest known victim count in this video. Number 10. William Anak. Anak was a police constable who murdered 21 people with an axe in less than two hours before fleeing. Three years later, Anak, armed with rifle and axe, murdered 36 more people in the village of Malampaka before being mortally wounded by police with a smoke bomb that caught fire. Number 9. Samuel Little. Little was convicted of killing three women, but later investigations linked 31 other murders to him. He's now thought to be America's most prolific serial killer. He claimed he killed as many as 93 victims total, three above his initial confession of 90. The FBI later confirmed a total of 60 murders linked to Little. The investigations into his crimes are ongoing. Number 8. Yong Xinhai, known as the Monster Killer. Yong would enter victims' homes at night and kill using axes, meat cleavers, hammers, and shovels. He was executed by gunshot in 2004. Number 7. Kampatima Shankuya. Shankuya was an Indian serial killer who used a hammer to kill over 70 men and women between 1978 and 1979. He was hanged in 1979. His last words were, I have murdered in vain, he declared. Nobody should become like me. Number 6. Pedro Rodriguez Filho. Rodriguez Filho claimed to have killed over 100 victims, 47 of them inmates. He also killed his father and ate a piece of his heart. He killed his first two victims at the age of 14. He was first arrested in 1973. He was convicted and sentenced to 128 years. But the maximum one can serve in Brazil is 30 years. He was released in 2018. Number 5. Daniel Comargo Barbosa, child and woman murderer, believed to have possibly raped and killed over 150 victims, primarily targeting female children, as they were more likely to be virgins confessed to killing 72 victims. He strangled young girls in Colombia and was arrested, but he escaped from prison and started killing in Ecuador. He was rearrested in 1986 and was allegedly incarcerated in the same Ecuadorian prison as 300 plus serial killer Pedro Alpez. Camargo was killed in jail by the nephew of one of his victims. Number 4. Mikhail Popkov, serial rapist, killer nicknamed the werewolf, who was active for two decades in Ongarsk, Akutsk and Vladivostok. After being convicted of 22 murders in 2015, he confessed to an additional 59 murders, of which he was convicted of 56 in 2018. In July 2020, Popkov confessed to more killings bringing the total number of admitted victims to 83. He was sentenced to life. Number 3. Javed Iqbal. Child, murder and rapist, known as Kukri. Iqbal murdered 100 street children by strangling them and covering up his crimes by dissolving the bodies with acid. He was arrested in 1999 after sending a letter to a newspaper and was set to be executed in the manner described by the judge who stated, you will be strangled to death in front of the parents whose children you killed. Your body will then be cut into 100 pieces and put in acid, the same way you killed the children. However, he died in custody before he could be executed. Number 2. Pedro Pes. Child murderer and rapist, known as the monster of the Andes. Lopez targeted young girls, between the ages of 8 and 12. Arrested in 1980 and convicted in 1983 of killing three young girls, but claimed to have killed hundreds. Despite being believed to be one of the most prolific serial killers of the 20th century, he was released in the late 1990s. Lopez claimed that, during his incarceration for car theft, he was brutally gang raped and that subsequently, while he was still in prison, he hunted down the most brutal of his rapists and killed them. He said that after being released from prison, he moved to Peru 
and started murdering young girl. Lopez claimed that, by 1978, he had killed over 100 girls before being caught and captured by members of an indigenous tribe. These captors were preparing to execute him when a missionary from the US intervened and persuaded them to hand him over to state police. However, the police had quickly released him. Lopez said that he had subsequently returned to Colombia and later moved to Ecuador. During this period, he claimed he had killed about three girls a week. Lopez said, I like the girls in Ecuador. They are more gentle and trusting, more innocent, and the number one, Luis Garavito, child, murderer, torture, killer, and rapist known as La Bestia the Beast. Garavito confessed to killing 140 boys between 6 and 16 years old, from October 1992 to April 1999 in Colombia and neighboring countries. He's suspected of murdering over 300 victims, mostly street children. Garavito was originally sentenced to 1,853 years in prison, but this was later reduced to 22 years, after he led police to many of the bodies of his victims. He is scheduled to become eligible for parole in 2023. The victims were almost exclusively boys, though Garavito has also been noted by local media to have molested and murdered female victims. In addition to his 172 initial charges of murder, Garavito also confessed to 28 more murders in 2003, of which five were adult. All adult victims were thought to have been killed to rid Garavito of potential witnesses rather than to fulfill personal fantasy. It was said that he would be released in 2021, but, at the moment, Garavito's probation is a situation that has not become a reality. However, it is not uncommon for his study to continue because in legal terms La Bestia is entitled to said benefit for his time in prison and the good behavior shown in it. I would like to express my opinion that someone who does this murder should definitely not be released. Feel free to express your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification button to be notified of new videos.